Good morning, good morning, and welcome to beautiful Barbados to everyone. It's great to be back. It's been a long, long time, but we're going to try and make up for that every day going forward, one day at a time, enjoying life and enjoying the absolute beauty that we're seeing right now. Like to say our serenity prayers, we're watching the sunrise. Those who'd like to join us, please do. All others, we'll be back through in a few moments time. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Your will, not ours, be done. Amen. Well, what a blessing it is to be back here this morning. Not only to watch this amazing sunrise, but also to gather with my friends, family and loved ones uh, who have not done for a week. Today marks a week that we have not been together. That has been a long, long time. I really miss you all, um, but I've had a lot of week of reflection. And also give a thanks for, um, you know, for the healing powers of God that I worship. So I just want to thank you all for being there, supporting me and for giving me all of the um, kind care and attention that you all have been doing and showing over the last two days Good morning to you all from the slim and trim and absolutely fit well sort of fit get in there quickly uh, Me of course good morning. Uh, hold on a second. Welcome back Nick. Thank you very much <laughs> Good morning to each and every one of you all. I told you leave your earplugs at home this morning um, That's because I, I don't intend to be talking too much today probably around maybe 43 or 44 percent not the usual 45 or 50 or you know approaching 50 percent but what a beautiful beautiful morning it's here in the island i've been sitting down here for a little while obviously because you know i like to get these places early taking in the beauty and the natural surroundings are just just all here just absorbing it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take you on a 360 first of all silent 360 believe it or not already again it's a silence well we're going to try and see what we can do but before we do I just want to thank you all again for being a part of my life and thank you for being here and making the EMC what it is because the kind of messages that I've been receiving over the last week has shown me how important the EMC is to everyone's life. Not me, the EMC. And that's the important thing that everyone has started to realize that we can all make it for each other no matter how tough times are, um, as long as we have each other and as long as we support each other and as long as we give the positive energy when others are down um, it will heal and there are the miracles that God has given us that we can share with each other look at this beautiful beautiful sunrise all right I'm gonna tell you 360 where we are now um, and then I'll tell you a little bit before we start to actually move so here we go
little bit of haze that we're experiencing this morning um, is enabling us to enjoy this beautiful sunrise without being uh, blinded by the glare but I know I told you to bring your darker makers and I hope you've done that uh, just to point out a couple of things before we start the track from here um, furthest point that we're seeing now is up by College Savannah that is um, up in St. Philip and that is just well in the, yeah the College Savannah area St. John St. Philip up in that general area and then we work our way around we already know it's St. Philip it's College Savannah itself but then we can run to St. John area and then the inlet that we're not seeing here because of that point this uh, just in front of us here um, that would be where Concept Bay and where Bath Beach would be. The point itself, if you were to go around that point, you would come into Conger Bay. Coming this way towards us goes into Martins Bay, where we've done a lot of times. And then you come along the train line, which will bring you down into Glen Burnie, where these homes are located. And then we will come our way to here. Now, we cannot get any signal between Glen Burnie and here, or we will have started at Glen Burnie itself. Um, there are a couple of dips in the area that we're going into now. Um, I will tell you I was coming and I found like 112s or 115s in some sections which was sort of like a surprise um, I don't remember seeing them last time but anyhow we're gonna work our way through if we do get disconnected it's not a problem I will try and regain it but I'm not panicking today I'm gonna offer the best that I can the rest I lead up to God it's a serenity prayer we've said so we understand what that means what I would like to point out to you before we move from here as well though uh, these four boulders on top of this big rock now it's not as though someone took them and put them in place however they would obviously be in from erosion and stuff over the years um, or it could have been someone well out there was a cliff at one time could have rolled them and moved them around in that general area but they have been here for many 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 years as you can appreciate no crane has come down here and lifted them up there but that's just a, a power of nature that is is quite interesting quite beautiful absolutely lovely out here lots and lots of erosion since we were here last time um, no more than it was expected because we saw it um, was going last time we were here so they said we're going to get a couple of dips but we're going to go as close to the coastline as we possibly can we're going to make our way in the general direction of tent bay and that's that direction um, we talked about what we see to the east we can now talk what we see to the to the northwest and those first set of rocks that you're seeing there now would be tent bay um, that's just by the atlantis hotel um, beyond that you won't be able to see it but you, uh, you can see two rocks sticking out just beyond that which would be the mouth of Joe's River and then into Cattlewash and you're seeing the sleeping giant we refer to which is Chalky Monk and then we're seeing right down this morning right along the east coast to uh, Pico Tenerife which is the point just down in the distance about center camera and then the furthest point that we will see would be at um, down at Cove Bay or Gaze Cove and there the white chalk cliffs that you would see down there in that general section all right, so we're gonna make our way from here now. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful terrain. I know a lot of you have been doing some hiking recently, especially our Bajan family. They've been doing a lot of hiking. I've been seeing a lot of pictures and stuff. They've been keeping me out here with the natural beauty that surrounds us. Um, I have not left home except for yesterday. I had some errands to run yesterday. I wasn't feeling terrible, but I wasn't feeling 100% still. But I had a few things that I needed to do um, to get out, get out of the way so that I'd be able to dedicate myself back to the journey. That is what God has asked me to do and that's what I intend to do. So today going forward, we're going to be back on journey. Hopefully all of you are ready for this here. But remember, today is a day back, but tomorrow and Thursday are going to be rest days as per normal. We're not breaking that routine. That's something we've set up. Um, that will give me a little chance also to get myself back in gear again. Um, also to water down my mouth because my mouth is beginning to feel a little bit dry and chalky already. Um, so <laughs> we we'll see how that goes now. All right, so this first section, we're going to encounter a dip. I'm going to go through here relatively quickly. Obviously, I don't want to go through as quick as I can because then it would be nothing but a blur. Um, this is the best phone camera that there is. Um, I'm not talking about those artificial things called fruit, like apples and stuff. I'm talking about the best, which is Samsung S21 Ultra. Um, and this has an incredible uh, refresh rate. However, if I were to come through here at my top class speed, my Olympic speed, uh, you would see nothing at all but a blur, and that's not my intention today. I would like to show you some beauty as well. Okay, I didn't see a loss of camera there, so hopefully we're still good. We do have another dip coming up shortly. You will see a very, very popular area for fishing and stuff. There are a couple of tracks that run closer, but the signal goes completely. I have done many of them already. We took some pictures down in there. We've actually shown you some video footage down there as well. But today is definitely too dicey to take a chance down in there for sure. We're picking up the signal from Ontaka Hathlands Cliff, which will be the highest elevation when we were doing our 360 when we first started. Um, that's where we were picking it up. We're also picking up a cross signal from down in Cattle Wash area, um, down by Barclays Park. So when we get between this area here, both of them are 
affected by hills. So this is where we start to dip quite a bit here now. So let's hold on and see what happens. We're not on top with these things on our right, that's for sure. You all were saying, boy, you enjoying the silence, but that's the end of that, for sure. Uh, we're not on top of these, uh, these bush, all this bush around here. We will talk about later on. I've had a, a very, very interesting few days. Had a lot of fun with the family, definitely. Um, RC Great Police has kept me very active, along with everyone else. It's been a lot of fun, for sure. Battle of wits, keeping me sharp and fresh. Um, trying to challenge me and my strength. Everybody knows already that I am sort of like really, really strong. Very, very handsome, of course. Uh, and, and top class athlete. All right, here's another dip section. Hang in there if we get lost. We're going to see what happens. Hop, skip, and a jump. Still see the signal. Haven't got a really dark area yet, though. Alright, I don't want to talk too much right now because I'm still trying to find my way back out to the area where we can get a good signal. So I am going to elevate my voice for you though. But as I said, I want to carry you on the closest section to the cliff. So we are doing a little bit of dexterity test here, going across onto a path that's in the distance. So we make our way out here. It's beautiful, beautiful in this area. So we see the guys out here enjoying a nice day of fishing. Hopefully they'll do some catching as well. That would be great. All right, let me just feel my way through here because I can't see where we're going. Don't know if there are any holes. A little dexterity here to get you back on track. So we'll find out. See a big hole here. We'll see what happens here. All right, here we go. That was a close one. All right, so here we go again. All right, so we're going to go down in a little dip section here, as you can see. As I said, we want to stay really close to the coastline, so we might lose it. But hopefully we pick up the one from down in Cattle Wash now, so here we go. The area out here, I wouldn't say it is good for people who have any kind of challenges whatsoever with footing, or if you have a balance issue, I wouldn't come in this section here for sure. There are tracks that run closer in, as long as you're steady, um, as long as you have fairly good fitness, you can make most of these areas, but some of the areas, very close to the edge, so you may be challenged somewhat. We like to tell you exactly what it is. We like you to know exactly what the experience. Morning, fellas. Can we have off to my friends all over? Thanks, man. Have a good day. Huh? Respects, brothers. Beautiful, beautiful coastline. You can see here, there are no cliffs, coral cliffs per se. This is what we talked about many times. A lot of this area is just clay, a mud and silt, etc. Some chalk as well. So as you see waves come in over the years and the erosion, along this cliff area you'll find all these boulders are being eaten out of the cliff itself all here would have been solid because the train tracks run in the water area in this general area um, along a section um, so all here would originally been solid or solid as we are seeing but as you can see it's not really solid coral form uh, formation it is actually a lot of very rough rubble and loose loose texture but beautiful beautiful the, ma the main coral mass will remain this is what we're seeing in the Bash Bay area, along Tent Bay, um, along Joe's River, etc. All along the East Coast, right up to Concept Bay, you'll find these same kind of coral formations and around that point and beyond. But mainly in this section here um, is where all the weaker matter would have been eaten out, leaving this beautiful, beautiful natural array of coral stone all over. Just beautiful. Thank you very much for the message on the signal. That's good news. You know, I, I can. I can try and do what I can do. I can't do any more than that, but I will tell you, it's nice to get a little feedback. It's nice to know it's working well today. Um, of all the places, 166 square miles that make up this amazing place that people call paradise, home, and that I call heaven, or slice of heaven on earth, um, I had to come here. This is where I wanted to come this morning for our welcome back. And that's because I want to show you the natural, 
beauty Barbed uh, Barbados before we did anything else. We could have gone to beaches, we could have gone the south, we could have gone all over the place. However, this is where I opted for. And this is because out here is where I find a peace and serenity that to me is unmatched anywhere else. Unless you go say Cocoa Hill Forest or Flora Forest or somewhere in that kind of general area where nature takes over. But then you don't get the scenery and you certainly don't get this beautiful ocean and these powerful swells that are coming through. Swell size is supposed to be picking up today with the coming wave that's coming in. Um, today up to this afternoon is where it's supposed to peak off and then drop off again. Um, so we're going to see it's nothing really of significance. However, it is not going to be flat. I know a lot of surfers are going to be real happy about that because the conditions recently have been really flat, very, very flat conditions. We've had some great wind conditions uh, over in Subo, must have been ultimate. However, the swell size has been very, very small. All right, so we have little terrain areas like this when you're going on the coast, right on the coastline, just kind of drop off and stuff. So you want to take your time. Now, I would not recommend to walk these, this train route, especially when it's raining. Not that it can't be done, because a lot of people do it. However, for me, I like to be able to go as close to the edge and take in uh, as many of the real rustic scenery areas that you will tend to stay away from when it's wet. Because out here it gets seriously slippery. You think black ice is dangerous? Come out here and try some this clay on this side here and see what you feel, what you think about that. All your boot um, grips get filled up. All your hiking gear, you don't care what you have on, get marked so everything turns into like a flat surface and you start to slip sliding away. That is not the way to enjoy this beauty for me. I'm gonna give you a 360 from here. Actually, we go here with this bucket and give you a 360 because this is our bench area. The bench had disappeared for a little while. See, it's back again. That's wonderful news. I don't know if it was just under the cliff or what, but it was not here the last time we were in the section. But as you can see, it's back again. Beautiful. All right, so we can do our 360 from here. We can give you anti-clockwise this time so you don't get um, dizzy and complain and fall down. So here we go, start off with a beautiful scenery. Yeah, my brother, you good? Thanks, man. See that? That's Beijing. That's what you call friendly people. I, as you all would know, you all have walked with me now for a long time, quite a long time consistently. And we see Beijing's every day and almost everyone you know, just wants to say hi and spread their cheer and their happiness and their joy. And trust me, these people are having a hard time. You know, these people didn't get this morning and everything was good and money was in the bank account and all their bills are paid a lot of these people are suffering but they still want to show you joy and peace and happiness so these are examples of what we can be no matter how tough times are if we have friends and we have the positiveness and we appreciate what we have and we're grateful we can all be happy no matter how tough times can get there will be times of sorrow but we don't have to live in them we have to experience them but we don't have to live in them so here we go our 360. I gotta tell you boy, over the last few days, well the last six days at home, seven days, coming in seven days at home, um, I have had nothing but exercise. I have laid down thinking of all of the exercises that I do. Um, I have gone into horizontal diet. Um, I have had, as I said before, countless hours of sweating. I thought it was the heat of the days, because trust me, Barbados, hot like a furnace. Every day, for the last, I would say close to a week, 
we have had 32 degrees, 33 degrees centigrade. Now people are saying, well, we had 40, but they're saying that that feels more like a 38 and 39. And trust me, there's been no wind. You're seeing a little breeze right now, but there's been no wind in this island. It has been hot, hot, hot. Anyone here would know what I'm talking about. I mean, when you see me, a person that does not like water, go in the bar four times a day, you know for sure that there's a problem. Because you know me, I, I don't like the water. <laughs> as a joke of course because I am the cleansiest um, male model there is around the place so there you go <laughs> as you can see no COVID has dampened my spirits any of you that thought that I would have been down and out for COVID well yeah I was down and out physically but mentally nah at all that can't happen because I, I follow a very very powerful person a person that can bring joy to the darkest moments to me and I won't tell you didn't see some darkness because many times in that time I saw some darkness it's not because I was feeling like I was dying it just is that my self will was painting some dark dark pictures for me to try and throw me off of guard however my serenity prayer brought me right back on and I know for sure that the self will will not take control of me many days I want to come back out and gather with you all and I, I know I have a lot of very wise family and friends on here and loved ones so I listened to them and I also said a serenity prayer and I realized it was not time. Today it's time though, for sure. This morning I was told, come out here and show this beauty to the world. And that's exactly what I'm doing for you all this morning. I want to share this beauty, share this peace, share the serenity, share the positivity, share the happiness, share the fun. And later on, I'll be sharing the strikes because I know some of you all have been watching your comments already. And as you've seen, my strike list is genuine. It's not make believe, you've seen it. And you know, just to show you again of some areas that you walk along here, uh, it is nothing to be frightened for if you have good balance. I mean, if you're like me, I'm a tightrope artist. You can appreciate that. I have gold medals in that as well. Oh, I said I wasn't going to talk with gold medals today, all right? So let me let me leave out that for now. Let me not talk with the gold medals. Just let me tell you, I have won every category that you can think of. That doesn't say no gold medals. You see, I have a different psychology today. But a lot of this area is dropping away. You can see clearly it's cracking all along it's just mud in this embankment the next big swell that we get big hurricane swell or massive north swell if you don't see any hurricane swells this year you will see a big change on this coastline because this is all being dried right out a lot of areas have cracked now you know it's ready sort of like just to break off in certain sections so you'll be seeing that because you know why we'll be covering it and you know why we'll be covering it because we're the emc and that's what we do we cover this island and we show you the beauty of barbados so when you come here you don't think you have to lie on a beach or go in a bar or go in a nightclub just to get your entertainment. You could come out here and enjoy some natural beauty. Morning, gentlemen. How are you all going? Morning, morning. Thanks, fellas. Morning. You want to say hi to all of my friends all over? My, I haven't seen you for a long time, man. Yes, I know, I know you saw me up little baby absolutely, last time. Absolutely, absolutely. Yes. You good, man? I'm good. Wonderful respects, man. You all all right? Uh, yeah, bless, man. Right, man. Good, man. Good to see you all. Thanks for sharing the joy and happiness with the world. Eh? Yes, sir. All right, all right. Have a good day, guys. All right, cool, man. Good, man. So you see, there you go, I tell you, Beijing hospitality, man. You will find nothing like it in the world, no matter where you go. Now, I know his gentleman here. Yes, I've seen him down in the north of the island. However, the other gentleman I don't know, and I didn't know him from the back. <laughs> it's only when I got up to him and I realized who he was, I recognized him. But I was not fearful of approaching him because that is how Beijing's are. You know, sometimes you get a vibe, you know, where not to go sometimes, because that is true. Everybody has those um you know people that are having a really tough time that don't know how to deal with it or can't cope with it or can't see the brightness or can't see the beauty or can't see the light so those people you tend to stay away a little bit from all right so another area that i saw a bad reading for i'm not trying to paint a picture that we're going to have issues but it is a possibility so if you lose me um you know we'll see what we can do if i you know if i don't come back immediately well then we'll come back just to say it's farewell but before we venture into this section here I want to let you know um, that it's a pleasure being with you. So let's go on from here now. Right now, this beach, one of our first vlogs. I thought I had a good signal. Uh, as soon as I hit on the beach, it went dead. So we're not going to go down that section. We're going to stay in the top area here. We're going to work our way across the section here. But as I said, it is a faded area. So we can see what we can do. I'm going to elevate up a little bit as we walk through the bush area, hopefully to get a good signal. Now this is easy for most people to make. Do not be deterred by the rough um, looking etchy areas out here. You can make this if you, are, if you have good balance, if you are fairly steady underfoot, 
if you need to bring walking poles, bring walking poles, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. But if that's at least come and try and experience this part of Barbados. You don't have to do the whole thing. You can park like I just did in Tent Bay, walk up there and walk back. You can park in Glen Burnie, do it from your direction. You can park in Martins Bay, you can park in Bath Bay. Wherever you want to park, you can park and walk and then return. You don't have to do it all in one. So don't think you have to do 10 miles to get to a location and then look for a vehicle to get you back or reverse and walk back 10 miles. You can do it bit by bit. You know, just take off a little bit so you can handle and, and enjoy it. This is real Barbados. This is as real as it comes. So if you want to see real Barbados, get in your car, drive to location, get out of your air conditioned comfort and take a stroll, please. Enjoy some of this natural beauty that the island is made up of. Barbados is not tired. Anyone that thinks Barbados is tired, that person is tired of looking. That is all. And I tell you not if you bore my heart, I am 51 years old. See, my memory still serves me well. And uh, I have been exploring this island all of my life. I would say intensely since my mid-teens. And I'll tell you, not tired at all. And there are areas I have not been to yet. Areas that I just have not been because there's no signal recently. You know, that I may have been when I was younger. But we'll be doing them bit by bit. All right, now this has been renamed, this spot here. Um, this originally was just some chairs and benches, you will remember. However, someone has beautifully renamed it as the Amelie Ocean View. Amelie, along this entire coastline here, you would have seen down in the Tent Bay area. They have a plot down there for him. They have a bench down there for him. And this is another person who decided to pay respects to that young teenager that lost his life while spearfishing in Barbados. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now, if you want to have beauty, can you mark, look, I tell you what, I'm not going to talk about it. I'm going to get out here. We'll hopefully get a signal from Cattle Wash. I'm going to sit on this bench and then let you take this in in a 180, a very slow 180. Hear the peace, take any beauty, enjoy the serenity. The only thing that's stopping you from experiencing this here is you, you know. There's nothing else. There's no one that can stop you from coming here and enjoying this peace and serenity and beauty. There's no one that can stop you from doing that except for you. If you have physical challenges, well, that is not determined by you. That is a force greater than you. That's something you have to live with. But any of you that are physically able to walk and to get into these areas, it is you that's stopping yourself from experiencing this. So you have no one to blame but you. So don't say you come to Barbados and that you've seen Barbados because you've driven around a coastline. But as a joke, trust me, you have not seen Barbados, you have not experienced Barbados, and you have not felt Barbados. So if that is what you think you have done here before, try something different. And I promise you, when you go back, you are going to say in your next set of comments on this EMC Vlogs, I had no idea of what I was missing. That I can promise you. That is not a stale promise. That is the truth. All right, we're going to walk again. Remember, um, all these things are like very naturally put together. They're beautiful. I mean, how lovely. Just a little bit of paint, you know, and respect your spot. That's all they're asking you to do. So don't come out here and drop litter. Whatever you bring with you, you take with you. And if you see something on the ground, take that too. Because you will be helping, helping everyone around you. All right, so we're going to go again now. So I know you're all talking about who you all see. I don't see him. So I'm going to take the camera off of him right now. There we go. One more dark area see what we can do this area gets a little bit tighter you will remember the last two times we've been across here we talked about the amount of slippage and stuff on the side do not be um, fooled by the vines or the grass because under these could be nothing these tend to grow in little little pieces are overhanging with no kind of solid structure below them so please do not step out onto the grass I think you're taking a picture because there's nothing underneath this bush here except for fall off. So don't on skylark out here, please. Remember, you gotta exercise caution. 
you know if you're a little bit concerned lean 45 degrees to the inland and just make your way slowly put your hand near the bush it's better to get a blister or a cut than it is to take a fall so these are the areas we talked about before this was full of grass with it overhang like a little ledge that has gone you remember this pretty well i'm sure but beautiful beautiful sceneries all along here do not come to Barbados and miss this, please. If you have the opportunity, if you're blessed, if you're being blessed with strength and the ability to come out here, please do not waste your life. Come out here and enjoy some of this here. Take a day away from that beach. Take away from that sunburn. What I would like to recommend though is anytime you're doing these areas, please, please do so on a morning early because it is definitely just too hot and sticky and sweaty out here otherwise so you can see the drop offs here brought you a little bit out on a little ledge um, but i'm on a safe area so like a little pinnacle where we're on i'll show you where it is in a minute but i want to give you another 180 from here so you can enjoy this as well here we go absolutely beautiful stunning scenery stunning stunning scenery okay so just to show you where we are and how tricky it can be in certain areas this is where we're standing um, you can see all of the fall offs in these areas you can see underneath that grass there there's no support so if you step out there to take your picture you know where you're going to end up okay so please do not experiment out here just stay back stay safe and enjoy the beauty as it is all right, just to show you where we were standing on, to give you an indication of where I was and that it was safe. That's what I was standing on out there, okay? So just be careful when you're coming out here. As you can see, I, you know already, I am an Olympian. I have great, great balance skills. Everyone may not have it. So you don't have to go out there to get your shot, but I want to show you it's makeable. Beautiful. I see a friend of mine, Mr. Andrew Goddard on here. I have not seen him for years, my brother. I hope you're keeping well. I know that you are, are, were one of the best tour guides I had in this island. So I hope that I am bringing some kind of pleasure to you as you've not been on the rock for a long time. I hope you're enjoying some of this as well. Beautiful, beautiful East Coast. All right, we're definitely going to be stopping. I'm gonna, I would like to go up on top of that section here and like show you the Atlantis Hotel. Now remember, I don't know if it's going to happen this year, but Atlantis Hotel and Fishpot generally close in the September time, especially Atlantis. Um, so you can always check with them. If you're looking to come to one of their buffets or something, give them a call first. Don't drive all over the East Coast to Atlantis. Come over to the East Coast, experience other stuff. Come here early, early on the morning, take in some of this here, and then maybe go back for one or Sunday buffet breakfasts if they're open. If they're not open, bring your, your little basket with you. Remember, your, your family, if they're not able to make this walk, they don't want you not to make this walk because of them. That's the last thing I'm sure they want. Let me just get to this dark area. I hope the signal is still good. I'm going to end right here on these rocks. So I'm going to go a little bit so I can hopefully pick up the repeater from down in the wash area. And see our farewells from here. Yeah, remember your family that may not be able to make this are not going to want you not to see this. That's the last thing they want. They don't want to make, make you feel as though you can't enjoy this beauty because they are not able to do so. So come and park them somewhere down in Bathsheba by a bar or park them somewhere in the shade with a picnic basket and let them sit there and enjoy the beautiful peace and serenity of down here and take your walk and then when you come back share your pictures and your videos with them and share the beauty that you have experienced while out here. Please don't let anything limit you from doing this if you are physically able to do so. All right, I haven't had much me time today, so I take a little bit right now. I am standing on some armored rocks. Realize that I got that word about a month ago. I started using that word, so you know I use that a lot now. You know us Bajans, <laughs> when we learn something, we stick with that for a long, long time, like cheese on breads. I said I wasn't gonna say that. Or stunning, spectacular, fantastic. Just a few of the words that represent Barbados. If you have been with us today, and you've seen something that you've not seen before, or if you've been with us and seen something you haven't seen for a long time, please experience this. 
there is a peace and serenity that you will find out here that you will not believe. You will take it with you for your entire life. I remember the peace and serenity out here from like maybe three months ago is when we actually lasted this section. Somewhere in that kind of time frame. But I remember that and that is what I earned for today. I seeked that this morning because that's what I wanted to find. And I found it and I brought you all to it with me. Remember though folks, these walks are beautiful walks. They're lovely in the daytime for photography and stuff, but they're beastly hot. Extremely, extremely hot and very humid. So if you're gonna be doing these here, bring lots of water, bring, put on some rash guards, put on your hat, put on some sunblock. Don't come over here and mess it out here because when you start this walk, you're not gonna realize it because it cool breezes and you're gonna get scorched. You're literally gonna lose a layer of skin. So if you're coming out here, I would recommend coming on the morning early park, somewhere in these areas around 5.30, start your walk, come back by seven. And you know, I hope you all have a fantastic day. I hope you've enjoyed this journey with me. Um, it's great to be back. I'll see you all again on Friday. Remember, our festive beachfront lounge is open this Sunday. Uh, our mass entertainers had three weeks to rest, so you should be singing like a lark. Beautiful tunes. So I hope you will join us there. But I'm only saying that because in case you don't join us on Friday and Saturday, I want you to know where we'll be on Sunday. So if you want to come and gather with us, spend some time with us, you know where to go. From me to you, from Barbados, the definitely, without a doubt, paradise. Definitely, without a doubt for me, a slice of heaven on earth. Definitely somewhere that I hope you will come and enjoy. If you say Barbados is tired, remember who is tired. It is you. Look in the mirror. It is you that's tired. It's not this island. This island has so much beauty just waiting on you. Have a great day, everyone. Love you all. Enjoy yourselves from the, our crew, which is our care team, our Munch Kings, our Hall of Famers, and each and uh, every one of the EMC family that bring you love, care, joy, and happiness every morning. We bid you farewell until Friday. God spare life. I will see you all at sunrise. Have a great day.